What's up guys? Clockworks here with another game commentary fresh off of Xbox's brand new upload studio app. Um I decided to do it on here because they I heard about the updates they put on here and they added a couple of like uh intros like you saw just now. A couple of cool transitions which you'll see in a few. Um and they extended how long you can record a video which is in freaking incredible so instead of it being five minutes of gameplay that you can um you can have in a clip in a recorded clip they uh stretch it out to 15 or 10 i believe it's 15. i haven't done a 15 minute video yet so for all i know it's 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 i think it's 15 but i'll say 10 just to you know not to spread any uh any false hopes but that's beside the point. I'm here with another Call of Duty gameplay. Fresh off of the Upload Studio app. You know, in case they wanna uh, shut me out or something like that. Beside the point. Um, alright, so here we have a game of hard point. Today I'm going to tell you guys, show you guys, instruct you guys on how to play a semi-effective game of hard point. Now, by no means am I a hard point professional you know I'm just ranked or was ranked in the top 200 in the world in hard point but you know no big deal um I promise I'm not I'm not conceited but anyway um here I'll show you in case you don't already know the way that most players play hard point now well not a lot of them only a few how um most people play hard point now why they play hard point like that how you can play hard point like that how you can defend against people playing hard point like that so first of all let me explain to you what the heck they're doing i know um if any of you play any bit of hard point you already know that whenever you take the hard point for your team you get 200 points whoever the first person to step on the hard point for their team gets 200 points um pretty much if the enemy team steps on the hard point again and you kill them off of it and reclaim the hard point you get another 200 points even if the hard point hasn't moved already yet um and that has been abused not only by me but by a lot of other people as you can see right there um since i was already on the hard point before it changed as soon as it changed they gave me my 200 points um the first thing you want to do is to pretty much just learn the hard points Learn the hard points. That's 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 my first thing I can recommend to you. Second of all, know where you can defend your hard points. Um, but getting on to the first thing, because I didn't really go too too much into detail with the first couple of things. As a matter of fact, um, what you want to do basically when you're on your hard point, you uh get to the hard point. Make sure you're the first one there. You jump on. You get your 200 points. Um, if you kill anybody while they're on the hard point or while you're near the hard point, you get 125 points. So if you just jump on the hard point, jump off, wait for the enemy team to get on. If you kill them while they're on the hard point and you jump on it, or if you contest it and kill them while they're on the hard point, you get 325 points. Easy. That's usually half, half of a lot of kill streaks, or a good chunk to a next kill streak, since they do it to, uh, by score. Um, it also gives you that many points in the um, on the leaderboards as well. So it's also pretty good for ranking. Um, and you can continue to do that for as long as the hard point is active. You don't have to necessarily wait till the next hard point to get to 200 points again. You can get 200 points for it as long as the hard point is up, which I believe is for a minute each. So as long as you can kill somebody off the hard point and jump back on and off of it, you can get points galore um and usually a lot of people are doing this too so on most occasions if they don't see you when you step on the hard point they'll just jump on jump off which allow you to do the same thing they'll do the same thing until either one of you is forced to kill one another um now the thing about that is if you stay on the hard point you'll usually find people who are trying to do that and you'll see them jump on and off and what you need to do to defend against that pretty much is know what your hard point is around um, find any areas where people can just step on and step off really quick know where popular areas where people jump in um, like for example that hard point is walled off um, it's the last hard point on green band and it's walled off so pretty much the only ways you're going to get in there is if you walk in 
from the sides or if you jump up from the top. So, nowhere to defend it. Also, the sentry gun is probably the most useful kill streak when it comes to this because people usually only come from the hard point from one of two directions depending on where they spawn. So if you put the hard point, well, not the hard point, the sentry gun against where they spawn, it'll pretty much kill them every time if they don't have blind eye on. <laughs> um, number two. Oh no, not even number two. Number one still. Um, it's really important to learn where your hard points are on your maps. Like uh, here on Green Band, you have the first hard point, which will be on the fountain where it is right now in the video. You have the second hard point, which is right here, as you can see. The third hard point is going to be, if I look that way, right over there, across the street from the, across the way from the, uh, the Zen Garden. The one across from that is going to be back in this building right here, where I put the sentry gun up on that ledge. Uh, and the last one's going to be by B in that walled area. Um, it's good to know where they are on every map because you never know when you're going to play those maps. Of course, you usually only learn it for your favorite maps first, but it's good to know where all the hard points are on every map. So that way you know where your points are going to come from, where enemies are going to come from, etc. Um, another suggestion is one I got from a friend of mine, Mr. Echo. Check out his channel. Um, he uh, actually uh, gave me a little bit of hit on kill streak management. Now, where you score pretty high on this game type, um, for doing the ridiculous stuff that you do that's probably broken, it's probably borderline cheating. <laughs> but, um, you do end up with a lot of points. Now, it's good to use those points for kill streaks that'll actually work for you instead of reaching for those paladins and the warbirds and stuff like that. Because, trust me, I used to be a, a high kill streak hoarder myself. Um, but, you know, keep your kill streaks simple, efficient. Don't put any extra, uh, any extra attachments on your kill streaks that you don't necessarily need. Like for example, my UAV just has extra assist points. I don't have the uh, the threat detection. I don't have support on it because I'm gonna get my UAV anyway. Um, my sentry gun it only has sentry on it. That is all. There is nothing else on there. Um, my bombing run. Whenever I'm not using the streaker wild card, it'll have stealth on it so that way they don't know where my bomb run is coming from um or if I'm using a uh, system hack with it like you saw right there I'll just call it my bomb run and then system hack them so they can't see where it's coming from unless they have on hardwire but no one really uses that anymore um yeah keep your kill streaks simple if you know you can score high then by all means put whatever kill streaks on that you want to put on there that you feel like you can reach but for the most part try to keep your kill streaks as concise and without as much extra stuff on it as you can. So that way you get them off and you're helping your team out. And uh, hey, you might even kill some people off of the hard point, get some extra points. And it doesn't necessarily hurt to have extra kills under your belt either because that also helps your score. Now because you're getting all these points in hard point, usually about maybe anywhere from a thousand points per hard point, um, your score ends up getting pretty high, which means your experience points earned for that game get pretty high. Um, I recall one time just playing hard point between prestiges. I prestiged uh, twice within 24 hours. I'm dying a lot now. Um, prestiged twice in 24 hours just playing hard point, and it wasn't even during a double XP weekend. Um, this right here, do not mind where I put that sentry gun, because that was a terrible placement for my sentry gun. I usually put it either um, on that high awning. Uh, on the other side of the map or right here where I'm about to jump up to right there And I'm probably up there because that's where I wish where I put my sentry gun, but I can't can't move it right now But uh, that's pretty much it As far as hard point goes. It's a really simple game type Pretty easy. It's not rocket science. It's uh, it's fun and it gets you a hell of a lot of points and Play it <laughs> It's pretty fun. Give it a shot. Uh, but that's it for me. This has been Clockworks. And this has been how to semi-effectively play Hardpoint. Catch you guys on the next vid.